Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Mills Plastic. Uh, so continuing with part four of my Annex Engineering K3 build, um, I'm going to be working today on the XY corner towers. Now you do need uh, two of them where the pulley and the idler are oriented in this way and two of them where the pulley and idler are oriented in this way. So they're called top driven which is where the pulley and idler, the pulley is on top and the idler on the bottom, and then bottom driven, where the reverse is true and you have the idler on top and the pulley on the bottom. Um, I've already pre-built one of these, um, just to see that I could get it done and have all the re requisite parts. Um, so there it is. I am using a few things. So this is, um, these are LDO super power motors. Uh, they are the long boy motors, so they have the long uh, drive shaft. And then I've also ordered some aluminum uh, plates, motor plates from Fabrico. So these came from Honey Badger uh, at Fabrico, and um, they look really sharp. So looking forward to getting those installed. Um, the idea with these is they will mount to, and let me flip over the main extrusion or the main frame, just see, see where these go, is these frame assemblies, uh, and I may get this wrong on the first go, so bear with me, um, but they're supposed to sit something like this. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, and you'll have one in each corner. Uh, not 100% sure if I've got the motor cables oriented correctly or not, I may have to unscrew the motor and then rotate it 90 or 180 degrees. Um, but basically the, the motors sit like this and then the, the uh, pulleys and um, idlers will have belts running through them that will drive the um, gantry back and forth, drive these pieces back and forth. So I'm going to get on building those now and uh, I'll install them on the frame when I'm done. So one is already done. This is a top driven, uh, as I mentioned, has the pulley on top and the idler on the bottom. So I need to build one more top driven and then two bottom driven ones. So I'll get started on that uh, and we'll go into time lapse mode and I'll see you on the other side.
All right, everyone, there you have it. So four um, LDO 2804 Superpower HT motors are mounted on the uh, aluminum plates that uh, Honey Badger manufactured for Fabrico. Um, so these will be running at um, two plus uh, run current uh, in Clipper, which means they're gonna generate a fair amount of heat, um, but the metal plate will help to act as a heat sink to dissipate the heat not only throughout the plate but connects to the metal frame and so the entire frame becomes basically a giant heat sink for the four uh, motors that are going to generate a fair amount of heat. Now in addition to that the motors will generate a fair amount of heat uh, which will help to um, keep the chamber temperature uh, inside the uh, system nice and hot which you want for printing with uh, certain plastics. You want the uh, inside chamber temperature to be 60, 70, 80 degrees or more, depending on the type of plastic you're printing with, uh, to help the plastic properly uh, bind and increase your layer binding uh, in the plastics. So uh, we have, you know, the beginnings of a motion system. Everything obviously still needs to be wired up. But that's it for this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions or uh, comments in the uh, video below. Thanks again for watching.